Oh, I'm taking time today. I did my qigong um, and uplifting my fellow sisters and brothers and now it's time for me and bachi. Bachi, we're out actually on the farm and there's cows here and the hogs are integrating with the cows. Love being in nature. It just really helps me to ground and bring me back to um, simple things in life, right? So I'm not sure how long she's gonna let me um, go on this rant from yesterday, but I just have to share. Um, it's funny how we go through different transitions, right, through life. Um, as kids, we wanna express and we want our kids to express and, and until it, you know, it starts being a little uncomfortable. And then there's, uh, just through my life, cause God, I'm in my sixties now, and I'm thinking back of how the, all the different ways where we had our voices squelched, right? And this has been um, going on for so many years. So then we learn, you know, certain things we can say and other things we can't say, and uh, we get very guarded and we, apply all these filters I'm wondering how good these filters are because I'll tell you when my kids were little I was very sheltered and the shock value <laughs> was a learning experience so I learned from them as I was teaching them I was always learning from them I that's one thing I love about children is their spontaneity and their free spirit and witnessing how we allow that to get caged within us, right? In so many ways, in all the different structures in our society. And I've had this knowing for a long time, seeing that the structures have, they have to be broken down because they've gotten to the point where they stifle the creativity and that's where all the magic happens, right? Magic in our creativity and the free flow of our thoughts and play. And, and then I'm watching as, you know, the kids become parents and now they're in, you know, they have to channel their creativity and, 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 I, and they become stifled in some ways, right? And the children are teaching them, remember me, remember me back when I was little and all the things that would I would just say and not even have a second thought, right? And adults, we would be, oh. But kids speak truth. And, and when, when do we lose the ability to honor that? spoken truth this time right now is going to be very difficult for many people i'm going to have my own channel where it's not going to be through any of these platforms so if you want a good mix of keeping your learning how to work with your energy um how how to utilize that to make creative changes especially when things are <laughs> feeling the most traumatizing for you um, I'll be sharing uh, a place where I'll be um, sharing many resources and we can support one another in a community and it'll be off these platforms because these platforms will not allow truth and I'm so beyond that. Um, I don't care anymore. Um, we have to call out what it is. We got to call out the elephant in the room. <sighs> And we have to learn to be that raw self, right? The inner child is coming out and it has so many emotions and we can't stuff the emotions down. We have to honor each tsunami that comes along and look deeply into it. Where did that come from? And how can we heal that? The only way to heal that is to sit in that space and listen and feel. And when you feel all these emotions, right? You get this, it's like a ball of chi. Right now, the whole planet is gathering up all these emotions and all these things that we thought 
were. And now we're finding out most of them are not even true. So where does that leave you? Where does that leave me? It leaves us to really taking an honest appraisal of where did we stuff down? Where, where are we hiding um, things that are true that need to be addressed, right? And, and holistic wellness, I mean, I had to go, I was shoved out of, I have a beat, all right. Deep breath, Grammy breath, right? My education is I have a bachelor's of science in nursing. Um, I also have a focus in psychology and it took everything I had to get to that point. And this always happens in my life. It's just, my life is, is learning how to transform through the greatest um, turbulences, almost midway way, like surfing, you know? And without getting caught up in the poor me, and oh my, and I put all this energy into that, which, I mean, all that is valid. And yes, we put a lot of ourselves into everything we do. That's our creative self manifesting. And then when you put all your energy into that, and then all of a sudden it shifts to something that you either feel like you didn't want, but you're being shifted into another direction for a reason. There's always purpose behind these shifts in our lives. So honoring, you know, can we get to a place where we honor it all? So then I went into holistic um, medicine for myself to do healing because I was rear-ended by a tractor trailer and traditional medicine fucked me up, okay? It, it has a place. Um, and I needed surgeries and all that, but the healing component is not there. It's not there, right? We mask things. We, nothing true is addressed. We can cut out tumors, but how do we get back to the wholeness of healing? And, the, and medical professionals have become so scattered and specialized that we've forgotten what holistic medicine truly is it's bringing us back to wholeness we are complex systems that need to integrate on so many different levels right that's what holistic medicine does and it's not alternative it's the other half and in this world we live in a world of duality and all always we have to learn how to integrate integrate the opposites the polarities and when we get stuck in one polarity or the other that's when we we start losing the battle because there is no one right way it's about integrating it's about moving out and finding out more exploring more that's what science does science is never finite um, completed science um, is always learning more because as long as we're here we will never have it all figured out it's just part of this realm the physical realm we're in but there's a divine component to us and our society on purpose has really um, blocked our access of or knowingness of what that even entails. It's our magic. There's magic inside of you just waiting to come out. You've seen it, you know, the inner child that can create magic out of nothing, right? Create beef stew out of lemons. and I learn but we have to do that with one another it can't be just one way it's got to be it's got to be integration it's got to be give and receive and there's got to be an even exchange okay so <laughs> now to the next segment of this um, it's taken me a long time to get myself back to that place where I can vocalize 
and I will not go back. The shell's open, it's broken, like it was supposed to be. And when we see things that need to be resolved, the only way to resolve it is to address it, right? That's what love does. Love is um, the capacity to get beyond the hurt, broken parts that appear to not be working. So, okay, Bachi, wait a minute. Lay down, girly. We'll see if I can finish this. So I have cows in the back. I don't know if you could see them. And of course we have them giving us pretty stripes in the sky. So let's take another Grammy breath. That's right, girly. Another Grammy breath. I even have a watch now. I can shift in mid-crisis, shift, just like that. Freaking out, bring back the peace. So yesterday I went to the doctor's office, right? In Florida, which is supposed to be, you know, more freer. So I go in there and everybody's wearing masks. So I'm like, okay. So I'm not wearing masks anymore because I've done the research. And for me, I'm proactive, see. Um, when I go out in public, I pretreat myself. There's certain remedies I have and I take them. And as soon as I have any symptoms, I take it immediately. And that has kept me out of the hospital. I've had moments in the beginning of this crisis where I went to the ER for anaphylactic, right? And then I realized, I started paying attention and journaling, when am I getting these reactions? And I got very specific without blocking out any potentials, just is what it is without saying, oh, that can't be. As soon as you do that, You've, you've um, tainted your research. You cannot block out anything, right? And just assume, because already, again, you've tainted the research. So, okay, back to I'm in the doctor's office. They all have their masks. So I'm like, okay, didn't wear my mask. And uh, go into the office. Okay, so everybody, everybody's wearing their masks and you're escorted by the medical tech, right? Medical tech to the room. And she goes in there and she sits and she pulls her mask down under her nose. I'm like, hmm, hmm. Critically thinking. Are we using our critical thinking skills? Does this make sense? What would your toddler say? Her nose is, you know, her nose, like if you're going to block and use the mask, freaking do it right. Or just why bother? It, you know, it's just blowing my mind. But I didn't say anything. I'm like, okay, because everybody has a level of their comfort zone. So we all, all are doing our own thing and our own perceptions, which is fine. And then she starts hacking and everything, and I'm like, oh my goodness. So then I'm like, okay, when I go home, I have three different supplements that I I'm going to take because this still is a crisis. And as long as people are getting boosted, I'm just going to call it the way it is. As long as people are getting boosted, you see, watch your symptoms observe be in total observance without listening to everybody else listen to your own guidance system okay the nurse in me i have a bachelor's okay and <laughs> i was trained in or and all that stuff so when i see the lack of validity and logic of these procedures that we're 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 being exposed to and those that are in the office are, are showing this pattern 
somebody's got to start speaking up. Like either wear your mask or you don't. If you're not going to wear it right, take the damn thing off, right? Teaching people. Nobody's talking about preventatives. The real stuff to build your immune system. It's a real thing, okay? When I'm around people that are boosted, I've gone to the ER with severe anaphylactic shock. And it's a pattern. There's a pattern. And I've been quiet. I've, been, I've, I've shared, you know, with people I care about. And, you know, I, I need to know if people are boosted. And I'm the leper, you know, and I, there are many of us. We've been treated like a leper. And do you hear any wheezing? Do you see any histamine cytokine, cytokine storm in me? Or the, those that aren't following these protocols? What's the color of their skin? The people wearing these masks all the time are getting this gray tinge to their skin. Gray tinge means you're losing your oxygen. Critically think, okay? And and of course, who is she to, and, you know, and, you, and this, this will come to you because that's what you've been programmed to do. Just do what you're told. How long are we gonna do what we're told when it doesn't make any damn sense? I love you and I love everybody and I will honor whatever makes you feel safe and secure. But I cannot be quiet any longer. Puppy's calling me. He'll have to wait a minute. Okay, Grammy needs a minute. Okay. So that's that. All right. So I'm already now I'm going to go home and I'm, and I did, I took, I have three things that I take. You follow my, my, um, special place that I'm going to be setting up and we can share these protocols at work and not just that when you share your experiences with other people that's where we learn what's working what's really working and what's not when you keep following the same protocols and we're going around in circles and circles and circles and nothing's getting changed there's something wrong here Okay, so it's time to call out the elephant in the room in your own way, though, and where you're at. Um, <laughs> I can embarrass Tom, uh, which is surprising, but um, you'll have to wait. Grammy needs a minute. So the next thing was the thermometer, which is not even a valid thermometer. As a nurse, we collect data. The data needs to be valid, right? If it's not gonna be valid data, why the hell are we using it? We're nurses. Whether we have our degree still or not, a nurse is a nurse is a nurse, okay? So I'm calling out you nurses and you other people too. When they take that, she's taking that gun and shooting it at my head, right? When did that come out? Why is, why are they using that? So I did my own research. I know how to do research. Trust me, I've been trained by very <laughs> anal nurse practitioners. So when that gun came out and I had to, uh, I was told to apply that at my work. What are the temperatures you're coming up with when you're using it? Do you even know what the normal um, basal temperature should be 98.6 okay so it should be close to that Con consistently nobody's nobody's that I have used on myself and others had a 98.6 basal temperature it was 97 point something 96 so as she's pointing this gun at me right because I've already done this research and I refuse to be shot in the head by this device that's not even accurate. Refuse. And it took me a long time to get to this space. You don't get here overnight, okay? So as she's pointing at my head, I said, you're not, you're not gonna really use that thing, are you? And as I'm saying that, she continues to shoot me in the head. I'm looking at her and I go, really? And she goes, it's 90, 97.3. And I go, 
that's not normal temperature. And she goes, well, would you rather me? And she goes to my wrist, not honoring anything I'm saying, not validating me at all. No validation, not honoring me as the patient. Where have we lost our patients? I remind the doctors every time I go in the office and it's getting less frequent. I can't even go now for the care that I need until they get the shit straight. Get the shit straight. And there's a lot of critical thinking going on here. So don't even try to devalue any of this until you start doing your own research. I'm not telling you to follow me, but use your critical thinking skills because we have to break this. This is not, this is not for any of our good. And if we wanna get out of this, this is what it's gonna take, okay? Your inner child, your inner toddler that will speak out when they know that something's not right. And I don't care, I've done it when my legs would shake and I don't shake anymore. It's taken a lot of practice. So then she goes, well, nobody's temperature is normal. Everybody's is 9 point, 97 point. And I'm like, that's because you're using this device that isn't showing valid data. It's invalid. Why aren't we using regular thermometers? We got other thermometers where you don't have to put them in the mouth. Like even, it's, it's ludicrous. It's lazy and it's, It's, it's fraud. It's fraud. Okay. And so take that a step further. So if your normal temperature is 98.6, they're measuring it at 97, 96. If you have a fever, who the fuck is going to know you have a fever? Right? So why are you even, why are we even bothering with this um, data collection that's invalid? Go play with those and do not let anybody shoot you in the forehead again. Validate yourself, validate your loved ones and stand up. It's time. Each time we find that this data, this uh, anything that's perpetu perpetuating this um, control, control over us it's all breaking down and we need all of us to step up and and say no more all right love you and become a master researcher i look forward to connecting with you we have so many experiences we could share there's many of us facebook makes you think that i don't have any people we all have people and we all have been joined together by our shared experiences. And we've got a lot of valid data that um, gives us pause to think deeply. All right. Have a blessed day. Bring out your inner toddler. I'll be cheering you on. <laughs>